I'm Kaylee Conlon and I'm Anna Kelleher from St. Francis. Tell me a little bit about your project and who wants to take that first? Um, we're testing the soil to see if there's any traces of radiation fallout from the Chernobyl accident and whether it poses a risk to public health. And what did you find? We found out that the Mourne Mountains were meant to be higher than the Derry Bay Mountains in Donegal but that and the Derry Bay Mountains were a lot higher than the Mourns, which wasn't expected at all. Because the Derry Bay Mountains haven't, act, we've never found records of them being tested before, where we were, and we found them, they were a lot higher than what we expected. From a layperson's view, then explain to me how you test it, how, how do you find out? Um, well, we went out and sampled like peat bogs up in highland areas with our ogre, and we put it down and swirled it around and then pulled it back up. Then there was a soil sample in it. Then we uh, measured 20 centimetres and put them in bags and took them back to the lab to test. And are the levels dangerous then that you found? Well, we sent the, um, our highest samples off, uh, off to the RPII and they said it was 15 becquerels and it has to be 1,000 before it's considered dangerous, so it's practically insignificant. What about the animals then, like the sheep who, who graze on this land? Is, do they pick up the radiation when they eat grass and stuff? From our project last year, we discovered that they do because the lamb livers was quite high last year. So we think that that's to do with it a lot. So this was really then um, taking your project last year to another level, was it? it? It was just carrying on from last year. We did food, so we did the soil to see if the soil affected how the radiation got into the food. And how long have you been working on this particular project then? Has it been all year or has it been a natural progression from last year? Um, well, we started around the middle of September and we only finished um, in the middle of December. And have you enjoyed it? <laughs> yes, we have enjoyed it. The thing that I like about it is it, it's, it's real. Whenever you're going out and you're finding out, this, this is real information that people need to know about. Yeah, because... What really interests is the Donegal haven't actually been tested before and if they have we haven't found any records of it. And do you think your work may mean that they'll go out and test it? Definitely because it's important that they know if it's high in radiation and if it affects other people. You don't happen to know then how, how, how long, if, it, if the areas are affected, how long they will be affected for? Well, cesium-137, which is what we found, um, reduces every 30 years, and it's almost been 30 years since the Chernobyl accident. So at the time, there was probably twice the amount that we found today, and in the next 30 years, there'll probably about be half the amount, so it's continuously reducing. OK. It sounds fascinating, absolutely brilliant. Just to answer one question for me before we start, how important do you think it is for students like you to study STEM uh, subjects? I think it's quite important because you need most of the subjects from STEM for daily life and like if you want to get a good job when you're older. I agree, it's like it's important and there's quite a wide variety in STEM. Great, thank you very much for talking to me. Okay.